We told you last night about the growing concern now that residents of the town of Evans have about the Sturgeon Point Marina potentially not opening up this season. New tonight at 11, to your size, Nate Benson spoke to the town supervisor and asked elected officials what could be done to dredge the marina in time for the summer boating season. Substantial storms, seiches, 15 foot waves, um, and we have an unusual amount of sediment, you know, in the mouth of the marina. That's the root of the issue, according to Town of Evans Supervisor Mary Hostler, and she says it's not going to be a cheap fix. Quick calculation by our engineer, and you know, at about twelve dollars a, a yard, um, it comes out to about three hundred thousand dollars to dredge it. That's not an expense right now the town can afford. One local company said they could dredge the marina for $34,999, $1 under the town limit that would require a proper bidding process for the project. It's a one-time only dredge, then it wouldn't stay open that long. So what would that investment be? Say on average we get six, seven weeks, what is that? $6,000, $5,000 a week. Hostler says she's hoping for emergency FEMA money that can be allocated for the project since multiple storms in the last few years have caused most of the damage. But the marina was due for an overhaul. We reported in 2019 that the Regional Economic Development Council made funds available to repair the marina. And preliminary work did begin, but stopped due to COVID and additional storms that caused more damage, which in turn caused project costs to inflate. In 2020, volunteers dredged the marina to open it back up after a storm caused sediment buildup. And the town is getting more offers this year, but at a cost. You can't choose one over another. You have to put the appropriate process in place. If we could open it, we could open it. But I can't do it at the risk of safety. The town of Evans is responsible for the maintenance of the marina, even though it's a regional asset. And over 85% of the slip rentals are from out-of-town boaters. So what are lawmakers and state agencies saying about this issue? The New York State Department of Environmental Conservation told me, in part, the DEC is encouraging the town to consider this proposal to expedite opening of boat launches. Senator Sean Ryan's office, however, told me, quote, the proposed $35,000 short-term dredge would help the harbor for about 30 days, not really an effective solution and quite expensive for the end result. Congressman Jacobs has submitted a funding request with the House Appropriations Committee seeking $1.7 million for repairs and further studies of Sturgeon Point Marina. We reached out to Governor Cuomo's office this morning to see if emergency funds from the state could be used, but we did not receive a response. Reporting from the town of Evans, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.